if you want to make a first order discount the first way that you can achieve this might be the simplest way as well would be to use a discount code so you go to discount you click on discount code and you create a discount code and uh, I'll call it the uh, first order for example Let's say 10 percent what I would do would uh, be to select a specific group of customers in uh, one of the group by default in Shopify in most store and maybe in all the stores is called new and if you go to see what new means it means that there is zero order so if it's tagged new new is zero order so when I'm done I will click save I'll make sure I copy this and I'll go to apps and open the automatic discount app I will create a new promotion here that I could also click here. I will use this discount and then I could actually put another rule like based on the number of items in the cart or total cart total amount in cart and I could also let it like that and the discount will always trigger and will always apply new and when the customer will be at checkout if they enter an email that already exists and it is an email that is already associated with an account that has at least one order then the discount will be removed from checkout what you could also do and this is the first way to do it the second way to do it would be to create a rule either with customer tag or number of pass order that is um, smaller or equal to zero for example like this or like that you could also add another condition like I said uh, well it could be um, it could be the current card total amount or whatever but for now so I just want to uh, show you the difference if you do it like that that will require customers to actually log in before they reach the checkout page then or app script will identify that this person who's buying has zero order in the past and then it will fire or trigger the application of the discount code and then it will display at checkout but if someone doesn't log in before checkout using this second way then our app will not know who's buying and will not be able to trigger the application of the discount because this person will not be logged in before checkout and on the checkout page for all Shopify plans except uh, Shopify Plus uh, the apps and the scripts are not running so it's impossible for our app to know to run the script and to know who's buying if if he or she is not logged in before reaching that checkout page so that would be the second way to do it and the first way was without any customer history or number of pass order rule just for example a total amount in cart and this will trigger the application of the discount and when someone fills at checkout the details it will validate or invalidate based on what email address was entered so when you're done you could uh, simply name it for example first order and you could test it or put it active and if you have multiple rules you can play with the priority of the rule so the way it is now using the Shopify discount code by the way that would be also possible to achieve the same thing using the smart deal code but in my example now I've used the Shopify discount code so all I need to do is have anything in cart and it should trigger the <clears throat> discount and it might take some time actually to, to trigger because uh, I've just created the rule. So 
so I will wait a bit. So I'm already logged in because I'm a test user or Shopify admin, and I see that the discount is unavailable for you, for you right now, because of course uh, it's not the first time that uh, I test uh, and I I make an order. But if I was logged out. Um, and I will test logged out. So if I'm logged out and I actually had something to cart, I will have this uh, pop up when I actually have something in cart, and I will see the first order. And this will actually uh, stay or be validated or be invalidated depending on what I put here as an email address and uh, I pull this and now they've identified that I'm a new user so the first order stays but if I would have put um, something like like that then the first order discount would be invalidated. So, and this is the first way to do it. This is what I displayed. But if I would have um, number of pass order is smaller or equal than this. So now I would need actually for the rule to work to be logged in before checkout. Exactly what it says here in other words. 